What does God want for me? What does God want from me? We may say, religion is too hard. Does Allah even know that we are weak? At times, why do I feel the urge to sin? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يريد الله ليبين لكم ويهديكم سنن الذين من قبلكم ويتوب عليكم وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ حَكِيمٌ وَاللَّهُ يُرِيدُ أَنْ يَتُوبَ عَلَيْكُمْ وَيُرِيدُ الَّذِينَ يَتَّبِعُونَ الشَّهَوَاتِ أَنْ تَمِيلُوا مَيْلًا عَظِيمًا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ أَنْ يُخَفِّفَ عَنْكُمْ وَخُنِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفًا يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَا تَأْكُلُوا أَمْوَالَكُمْ بَيْنَكُمْ بِالْبَاطِلِ إِلَّا أَنْ تَكُونَ تِجَارَةً عَنْ تَرَاضٍ مِّنْكُمْ وَلَا تَقْتُلُوا أَنْفُسَكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ بِكُمْ رَحِيمًا صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ So, what does God want for me? The answer is guidance. He wants to make things clear for us. It is Allah's will to make things clear to you, guide you to the noble ways of those before you, and to turn to you in mercy. He wishes to shower us with His mercy. We may wonder, what does God want from me? He wants us to make an effort to try and please Him so he may turn to us in grace. It is only his mercy through which we are guided. But we have to show that we want it through our intentions and actions. Are we genuinely interested in these things? If we reflect on our average day, what portion of it is spent thinking about Allah? What portion of it is spent thinking about our worldly desires, goals, and ambitions? And it is Allah's will to turn to us in grace. There will always be people that wish to see us fail. Beware! But those who follow their desires wish to see you deviate entirely from Allah's way, as Allah tells us in the Qur'an. We have to choose our friends wisely. We have to be selective of who we surround ourselves with. We ask ourselves, is so-and-so bringing me down or elevating me? Are they bringing me closer to Allah or are they pushing me away from Him? Some may say, religion is too hard. Does Allah know that we are weak? Allah tells us in His book, and it is Allah's will to lighten your burdens, for humankind was created weak. He is our Lord. He knows us. That's how He created us. We are weak and in absolute need of Him at all times. That's why we say in every prayer, you alone we worship, and you alone we ask for help. We need His help to be on and to remain on the straight path. Sometimes we wonder, at times, why do I feel the urge to sin? And in the Qur'an, Allah tells us 
that Yusuf السلام, mentions. And I do not seek to free myself from blame, for indeed the nafs is ever inclining to evil, except those shown mercy by my Lord. Surely my Lord is all forgiving, most merciful. And this is a prophet saying this. We must ask Allah for his mercy and forgiveness and trust him to protect us. Allah tells us, Allah is the guardian of the believers. He brings them out of darkness and into light. See, there's a direction of the soul and a direction of the ego. Who do we feed and who do we starve? The one we feed will get stronger. Allah is our guardian and he will show us the light. Keep working on your faith and never lose hope. Know that our Lord wishes for us to be turned to Him, to be turned in grace, to be turned to His light. May Allah guide us to His light and show us His way. May Allah bless us with the straight path and may Allah bless us with the strength and willpower to be true slaves of His. May Allah perfect our intentions and our actions. May peace, blessings, and the barakah of Allah be with you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.